What's up guys? It's your boy The Theorist and today we are back with another episode on how I arrange a song from basically the beginning to the end in about 10 minutes or less. So today's song that we're going to be doing just released about just over a week ago and this artist released three songs within the week and they are all fire. 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 It's from the boy Drizzy Drake and he's actually a feature in all three songs. So he released three songs and I think this is the perfect song choice to do um, just because there's a lot of melodies that I can hear through this song. And when I, when I actually heard this song, I thought, huh, it was definitely a different flow from what I've heard from Drake before. But I thought, hey, you know, it's a song about him telling a girl that she should come away with him. And I was just like, oh, okay, it's another one of these Drake lovey-dovey songs that I can flip into a ballad, which is perfect. So the song that we're going to be doing today is DJ Khaled featuring Drake, Grease. I've had this song on loop being played in my car at home for a, about a week now, and I've, I'm pretty hooked on this song but I haven't actually attempted to play it on the piano. So we are gonna play it by ear for the first time live for you guys right now. Okay, so I'm gonna play this song for you guys and then I'm gonna figure out the chord progression, uh, what key we are, and how I can construct the song into an arrangement. All right, let's do this. As you can see, I basically just played the song, figured out the chord progression. As I was figuring out the chord progression, I thought to myself, oh, we're in the key of D minor. We began on the, the root chord of D minor, and then we transcended down towards the F over C. So we're in the F major chord over the C. And then we went down again to your B flat major seven, and then went down again to your A major chord. So basically, it's the one, three, six, five chord progression, um, a very common chord progression used in songs today. So what I heard was the first chord um, was the D minor chord. And how I was able to figure out that this was the D minor chord was by listening to that first chord, I can hear the leading tone, which in this case, it was... We the best it was an A. And then I was able to construct that this was the D minor chord. And then as you keep listening, you can hear the chords 
drop, as in it's going lower as opposed to going higher. So using my ears, I already knew that we were on D minor in the first chord, but I'm not even going to try to figure out the next chord. I can hear that the bottom note of the chord was dropping lower. So then I heard that it was going towards a C, B flat, a. So you can hear actually if you're listening, you can hear whether the chord shifts up or down. And in this case, in this song, it's all going down. So you start off with the D minor, and then it went down to the C, and then went down to the D flat, and then to the A. And as we continue listening, we can figure out the chord from there. So for example, Minor, we already know. So it, you know, we can try to figure out by using our ears. We can try to replicate that second chord, um, what it sounds like. So So for me, when I was listening, I, I heard that it was the F major over C chord, and then it went down again to B flat major. And then again, down another step to A major, okay? So our chord for this song is D minor, the F major over C, the B flat major, A major, okay? So yeah, after figuring out the chord progression, we gotta figure out the key in which everything is pointing towards the D minor. Um, key. A good indication is that we started off on the D minor chord, right? And then we ended off on the A major, which is the dominant chord of D minor key. So this really tells me that we're in the D minor key. So now let's figure out different left hand patterns, because I know you guys have been have asking me, oh, how do you figure out left hand patterns? So when you're figuring out the left hand arrangement, you definitely want to know your chord progression. So we've already talked about which chords we are working with. And then you kind of want to just master learning the chord progression. And then building upon. So if you guys do practice a lot of scales and chords and triads and all that, it's definitely easy because what I tend to do is I use the chord notes within the chord and I just basically in an arpeggio form, I go up, but I'm not playing all the notes in, in order. So instead of playing D, F, A, D, I would skip the F and I would just go D, A, D, F, A, D. Depending where it ends and if it synchronizes with the right hand melody, uh, that's one example I can give you guys. Um, so you guys really got to learn your arpeggios. And the... Why is there a dog hissing at me? Anyways, when I was listening to the song, I thought that, you know, um, maybe it could use a different approach for the, the piano arrangement. And I thought, hey, what would this sound like if I were to turn this into a ballad? AKA my favorite piano style. So the song is already kind of dark. I wouldn't say too sad because it's kind of upbeat in a sense, but I thought, I was like, how can I make this song even more sad and more emotional than it already is? So being the ballad type of guy I am, I'm just gonna take it down a notch, all right? So let's do this. Thank you. 
So yeah, that is basically how I would arrange this into more of a ballad style, conveying the raw emotions from his vocals and using the advantage of turning an upbeat song into something even more beautiful sounding. At least to me, I, I think it sounds more prettier when it's slowed down into more of a ballad style. But nonetheless, that's just my approach on this song. I mean, you guys are free to do whatever you guys want, whether you guys want to keep it at the original tempo. It just depends on your taste and your style. So yeah, I hope you guys were able to learn a few things from this video. I just really want to help you guys get to, I guess, a level where you're able to use your ears when you listen to a song and you're able to kind of figure out the notes on the piano because it's definitely enjoyable to do and it's really fun to uh, play different types of songs that you hear on the radio and then you transcribe that onto the piano. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to do one of these again very soon. Make sure you guys subscribe, smash that like button, and leave a comment below in the description on what you guys want me to work on next. I definitely want to be doing more videos in the future where I'm not just explaining how I arrange these in 10 minutes, but just actually showing you guys the full scope of things, like how I get uh, the arrangement into sheet music uh, in Sibelius and then producing the video itself. So hopefully I'll be producing those videos really soon so that I can show you guys. Um, I really thank you guys once again for watching my videos and for all the support that you guys have shown throughout all the years and I really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace!